Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about being jealous. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I am a very competitive person by nature and I had a little bit of bad luck in the start of my career so I started studying programming when I was 25. Looking at all the people who have been working for the past three years who started when they were 22, I, it gets me really jealous. How do you think I should handle this? Well, I suppose that the best answer I can give you is get better than them. That's probably a good option, wouldn't you say? So, I know that this is a very popular idea and I don't really know why it is a popular idea because it's such a lot like it's such a weird like a, if you're going to be a programmer, you at least should be this logical. So, if I have been, like, I'm just going to dumb it down to the point where it's almost a little bit silly, hopefully. If I have been walking on my treadmill for three years, and you've been training to be part of a marathon for one year, guess who's going to be the best runner of the two of us? It, the fact that someone's doing sort of the same thing that you are doing, even if I'm just jogging, uh, you're not. I mean, if you do sprint training or if you go to the gym and you do like serious strength training, and I do a little bit of rubber band stuff with some very mild resistance, you're gonna pass me. There's no there there's there's no discussion that you're gonna pass me, even if I am a super super fit uh, whatever. At like, you, there's a diminishing return on investment for me. Unless I really do, I mean, if you're fighting against someone who is like, I don't know, crazy about software development, they're just pushing it to the absolute limit every single day of their career. Yeah, you sure, in theory, you might never catch up to that person. I mean, it's harder than that. I mean, it's the same thing with athletics as well. Like, there are genetic things and other things that factor in, but you can still get up to their level. It doesn't matter for how many years you do something. What matters is what are the results of the years that you're putting in. So even if you are three be years behind somebody, that doesn't mean that you can't catch up to them and even pass them depending on how much you're pushing it. I used to work with, a, or rather I wasn't working with the guy, I was, went to school with this dude. He had been working as, I think it was a PHP developer for seven years before he went into school again to take a, uh, to to educate himself and like you take a, I think we were working mostly in Java but he wanted a computer science related education etc etc he wanted to do something different with his life basically reinvent himself as a software developer still and i remember us having this little argument uh, where at one point he did say to me I mean, this is just my side of the story, so we always have to remember that there's two sides to it. But he, I distinctly remember him saying that, "Well, dude, I have, you have seven, I have seven years more on you. You're never, okay, um, you're never going to catch up to me." And I said, "Well, of course I'm going to catch up to you, because I'm pushing myself harder than you have ever done." And then the argument kind of just went back and forth because, I mean, of course. For him, that was me being very arrogant, saying that, well, of course I'm better than you. Well, that's that's his misunderstanding, because I wasn't actually trying to tell him that, oh, I think I'm such a good developer. Because I was genuinely saying to him, I am pushing this, I want this more. I want this so much more than you want. That doesn't mean that you're not, you mean, I, I took, like, he was the best in the class. No discussion. I had no chance, or like, no, like, he was... He was definitely the guy you wanted to help, uh, to get help from. He had all the experience, all that, and I've talked to him many, many times afterwards, and he helped me so many times. I think that he taught me more about the Linux operating system and a lot of web-related stuff than the teacher in many cases. So I'm very happy that he was part of the class. But during that argument, what I was really trying to say to him is that I am genuinely saying that I want this more than anything else, and I can very clearly see that you are sort of half, half like, I mean, you already have the talent, you can already do this, and he was, I mean, he uh, he didn't even come into school when we were teaching, uh, learning things about CSS. The same, like, uh, during the same time period, I was literally at this university when 
roughly 20 minutes before the electric lock opened the doors into the building. That is three hours before the, the actual study group starts. I said hi and got to know the, the cleaning lady who was cleaning the classroom before class started. I was there and she had to clean around me. And I left well after everybody else because I, uh, I was obsessed with this to the point where it was uh, a little bit, let's just say that it was a little bit freaky. That is not just a unique story for me. There are people who do this every single, like there are hundreds of thousands of people who are that passionate about the thing that they love. And you, if you're really concerned about your position and you actually are like a little bit jealous, your competitive nature, fucking leverage it. Leverage it, not for because you want to beat somebody else, but because of the same reasons I was trying to explain to this dude I was working with. That I don't care if you're better than me. I just want to be as good as I can humanly be. And if I continue this way, I, I, at some point I'm going to catch up to you. It's not no discussion because you. Uh, it all comes down to how much are you investing? How much are you pushing yourself? And if you're pushing yourself harder than the people that you're working with that have three years more than you, you will come up to their level and you will pass them because you are pushing it more i promise you that's going to happen it doesn't matter how much of the gap the, the gap is you will close it so what i want you to take away from this is that if you are concerned that you're working with people who have been working for longer than you because this is a normal very common question i get like oh they are these kids who start learning at a very young age how am i supposed to compete well it's actually very simple you have to want it push yourself how much are you willing to invest because if you're putting in maximum effort and really pushing it as much as humanly possible and they're not you will pass them it's a guarantee that you will pass them it's just a matter of how long it's going to take before you do it and i promise you that you can do this and you don't have to be scared that you're always going to stay at like this weird level where you're back here and they're over here and they're always going to be stay ahead of you that's not the, that's not your destiny it all comes down to how much are you willing to invest to close that gap between you have a great day